Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back for another fake Grand Order video. I hope you've been having a good time grinding up on Christmas. That's what I've been kind of doing off and on. I actually have to get really into it. I was able to get enough for the dailies because you had to do them because you had to. But anyway, what's today's video? Today's video, someone asked me a while back to do something about the upcoming free-to-play units, but then when they asked me, there were only three left in the year. So, before the start of the new year, I figured I'd go over all the free-to-play units that are going to be coming over for the next year. Not actually going over what they do specifically, because when they actually are about to come out, um, I will go more into what they do. But for the most part, they're free, and you should get them. And because of the way Fago is changing, there's not going to be reruns as often as they used to be. It used to be that you could always count on a rerun happening next year or something, or pretty or two year, within two years' time. Not anymore. They don't want to do reruns anymore because it gives people free units and they've decided to make up some kind of bullshit lie about how they would rather spend it on new stuff, but that's not actually what they're doing. But anyway, <laughs> let's get into it. That's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can always leave a like, comment down below, tell me which free-to-play dude you're looking forward to, and subscribe to me. Helps a whole bunch. There's been a lot of support for these videos, and I thank you guys a whole bunch. So much so, I even made sure to make a note, because last video, I have completely skipped over NeuroFest as an event that was coming up, because I saw Castoria and I completely skipped NeuroFest, so I actually have a pretty detailed list here. So let's start over, start with January. Of course, on January, we have Little Big Tengu. Here we go, in this specific campaign, we will be getting a free Welfare SSR, which is Kichi Hogan, who is an Assassin 4-star, who I believe is just two quick, one arts, two busters, and a damage to all enemy quick, so not bad. I actually, let me quickly look and see if charges one ally's MP gauge. Ooh, increases party's MP generation rate. Well, based off of that, she has enough to potentially be good enough for... <laughs> quick farming even though at this point no one really quick farms because it's all about arts at the moment but for the people who are looking and actually that MB gang can be given to everyone so that's actually kind of like a nice little support thing if you don't want to specifically use her for it so either way a pretty nice assassin unit and she'll be coming sometime in January and it will this when does this event come back I've made a note of it it says right here she has not returned on the JP version of the game um maybe this year for new year's maybe this was a weird event because it kind of got it just kind of came in january near the end of it so it wasn't necessarily the january event because the january event for this year was saber wars and this was getting a rerun so for you typically for events like this that don't really have like a theme or anything i think the usual or is a collab i think it's usually two years waiting time and then you're kind of good to go from there so there you go two years time so get her now while you can. I think the only requisition you need for Little Big Tengu is, is that you need to have cleared Fuyuki, which is pretty easy to do. So no problems there. February, we have absolutely nothing. No free unit comes in here. There's a Holy Grail front, but you don't get a unit from that. So neither from Valentine's Day and 23 million download camp. Actually, I would be really funny if they gave out like some kind of ticket related to this. So just let me just double check. No, okay, it's nothing. I had to check for the betterment of my mind. So let's go on to March. March this year, again, nothing really. This is another event that kind of just has a dude. You get a special outfit if you have um, the man over there. You can pretend to be a Phantom Thief with him, which is pretty nice. Um, and then we have, yeah, a bunch of Caldea. You get a free C uh, CE, but that's about it. No, nothing unit related. Let's move on to the next one. Here we go. This one is the only one in here is the Grail Live. There we go. And this one is also very interesting because this also has a bunch of costume dresses related to it. So it has MASH, it has Helena, it has Altera. We never got this <laughs> over here. I don't think we ever got the... This is a collab event with the dancing game that I don't think we ever got because Miss Crane came from the dancing game. We never got it on the NA side, so we just don't really have anything related to it. Uh, if you're ever curious, what is the dancing game? The dancing game is why you can't find a Fago on Kuap because Kuap, like an idiot, there was a download restriction on the game. They didn't hide. They didn't like care 
So they left it up even though you weren't supposed to download it anymore and the Fago team took it as like some kind of like this is clearly a malicious site and they took it down and they said take out all our games and all our APKs from your site or we will sue you. And they did and they've been trying I think to get it back on co-op ever since but it's never been, <laughs> it's never happened. So if you were ever wondering how come Fago isn't on co-op it's for that specific reason. It's because of the, that game. So there you go. But yeah, you get Altera, Nato Chris, Maeve, Hassan, Tamamo, Uriel, Shuten, Jean, Ushiwakamaru, and Nero outfits. And I don't think you'll ever be able to get them in anything but here. So you better make sure you get them in here even if you don't have the unit itself. Um, and then the free, free unit is Mysterious Idol X Altar, which is a free foreigner. Which is, I think, the only free foreigner we've gotten. Um, she's too quick, one arts, two buster, and her NP is a quick damage to all enemies. Another quick buff, basically. Let me see you look at her skills real quick. I always have to do this for the quick units. Usually if it's arts or buster, I assume they're perfectly solid, but for quick, it requires a very specific thing. Uh, it doesn't fill me with confidence, but who knows? When I actually get to use her when she comes out, I'll let y'all know. But anyway... If you know specifically about her, feel free to tell. Any of these units, you can feel free to tell me about them. I'm always down for learning about it. I try not to learn too much about the JP side of the game other than these are cool dudes that I potentially want. And this is definitely one that I would want, so I'm not skipping out on this one. But yeah, in order to actually get this event, um, you have to just clear Fuyuki. So simple, simple requirement. Not too big of a deal. And that is the only thing in April next may i also say these but our scheduling is really screwed up so they may show up earlier or later depending on a lot of things anyway next we have the servant summer camp 2020 rerun this is the only thing that is available in may and this is what we're getting um we're getting concert you back and i think this is also the return of the spirits on dresses which i should show off right here where are they they are over here no down here there we go we have a new one for MASH, and then we have one for Lang Ling, Wang, Sigurd, and Emiya, all here. So make sure to get it, especially for the version 2. This version 2 one is much better than the version 1 one we have. And in, in order to actually do this event, you have to have cleared Fuyuki. And I know you're thinking, isn't this character a huge spoiler for the story? Uh, they address it. If you play the game earlier than from when you beat Lost Belt 3, it's actually pretty funny. <laughs> It's like slightly different. It's always very interesting to think about these events where it's like they have to go out of their way to kind of make it make sense in the timeline of when you're starting it, which is pretty funny. But anyway, I digress. And then the actual unit itself. Let's look. I think this is another quick. Two quick, one arts, two buster. Yeah, she's anti-male, quick, single target. And I actually remember really liking her as well. I think she does perfectly fine. A perfectly strong Lancer single target that can get to 2,000 and most of the most there's enough bosses that are male who are archers that you're gonna get that bonus of 150% damage from her so definitely a unit worth uh, getting and picking up I would say plus she looks really good which is half the reason you would care about any of these sometimes anyway next we have June absolutely nothing we have barrel over there we got Avalon Lefay we have Nero Fest but Nero Fest doesn't give you Ooh, one moment, because I just realized now that I'm taking account of Spiriton dresses, I should actually look these event sees though. Uh, okay, no, 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 nothing too big. Oh, wait! The Olympian uniform. You can get this. I found it. Bless you, someone was sneezing in the background. Um, where is the outfit? Damn it, Nero, why do you have like 27 goddamn outfits? Anyway, you can get her tournament outfit here. I should be able to get... There we go. Summon, if I click on summoning campaign. Really? You're not going to show? Okay. Now you're just being annoying. You're making this actively harder for me to get the Nero Claudius that I want. Okay. She has a lot of costume spirits. There we go. You'll be able to get this one. Which is not as crazy as the other two, but still pretty nice. Sometimes people just want nice and simple. So, next next july um nothing nothing in july absolutely nothing in terms of free stuff that you will miss out on and stuff well i guess unless you can sing quartz and stuff but i'm not for this video so next we have let me check the sixth anniversary i don't remember if they ever did 
a outfit thing for it, but I don't think they did for this year. They did it for the previous year. Okay, yeah, no, no, they didn't. Okay, good. I mean, not good. That would be cool to have, but they didn't do it for this one. So this is another one where there's just absolutely nothing. Actually, the movie re-release campaign might have the Ilya outfit. Let's look. Don't, 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 don't. Nothing that I can see here. Okay, so we're good. We're good. We're good. We're 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 good. Uh, next we have the Caldea Summer Adventure. This is actually very important. This event is not coming back. I don't know when it's coming back. Next year, the banner will be back. Uh, the event itself won't be back. So this is your one big chance of actually getting uh, Summer Kid Vinci over here. Um, because I don't know when this is going to come back. Again, usually it would be a year later, but I don't know. I don't think they ever plan to really bring this event back in some way. Which is a shame, because as you can see here, she has a fucking dinosaur. That's amazing. That's awesome. She's a one quick, two arts, two buster, and I think she is arts? No, she's buster. Yeah. Deals damage to one enemy. Single target buster for... Ruler, not money things I would think about. But okay, I have plenty of already rulers. I forget that ruler and buster like go hand in hand for some reason. But anyway, it's free Leonardo. This event isn't coming back next year, so this is your best chance. And it, the only thing you need to activate it to let you be able to play it is Fuyuki. So pretty easy to actually get access to it. You just have to actually beat it. Uh, did they ever give us anything? Like, a no, we would have had it if they did. Okay, no, okay, we're good. I was trying to remember if they ever gave us anything for Melty Blood. Okay, here's a big one, which is what I think they'll probably start doing nowadays, because as I mentioned, a lot of these things aren't getting rerun. But they did do something here for Halloween, which is the Halloween Trilogy, which will allow you to get basically th four Liz's, even though these two are the exact same Liz, in one kind of swoop. And it's all, like all the Halloween stuff in one without any of the event stuff, like none of the event grinding and stuff. It's literally just play the story and you'll get these guys. Um, and I believe they are, yes, here they are, thank God. These are the units you can get. This Liz is obviously from the banner, so you won't get her here, but I can go here. We have Dragon, uh, Dragon Quest Liz, aka Brave Liz, aka I'm pretty sure I can't show that for very much longer because something will trigger in the YouTube bots that will take down my video. But anyway, she is a buster deal damage to uh, one thing. I think she ends up being pretty bad because her third skill is not the greatest. But I don't know if they, the buff to this changes it. But I remember she was kind of like super strong. But man, these abilities just hold her back. And speaking of holding her back, we'll talk about the first Halloween Liz. I think the, the first Halloween Liz is suffering from the exact same thing. Like this one buff is pretty nice. It's a nice buff up to her, but it's not enough to make it up for the fact that she's just an extremely old unit. We're talking year one unit with a single buff, and then her Noble Phantasm is a rank E minus. Like, <laughs> it's, it's not really enough, but it is a very cute Halloween outfit, so I think it still works out. And then we have Mecha Ellie, version uh, pink, and then version... <coughs> Thank you. Man, everyone's catching the sneezes. And then version two. Um, one based off of Mecha Godzilla, and then the other one based off of also Mecha Godzilla, but now she's pink. Um, single target and alter ego, which is pretty nice. Her skills aren't anything too crazy. Actually, let me see what this one. Uh, yeah, nothing too great. Actually, this is star ability is pretty nice, but her skills aren't anything too crazy, especially because this like removes her defensive buffs, which kind of sucks. But she is a single target buster alter ego, and she's a free one, and that's pretty nice. And yeah, it's weird, but these two units are exactly the same. Um, how are they different in some ways? I think they have different voice lines. They have different like dialogue stuff. They have different look, obviously, and then they have different, like, final CEs, as you can see here. Like, her final CE is, like, a specific, like, it's a saber of some kind. Not a saber, but it's something to help her control it, and then you have, like, a gigantic silver guardian one here. So, I don't know. It's worth, I think, getting both. It was always uh, nice that they kind of did this, and it's a shame they never did it again. I thought they were doing it again with the Valkyries, but the Valkyries that are coming, not this year, but the next year, like, two years from now, basically... I thought they were going to follow something similar, but it's actually way worse because it's like six dudes that you have to pick from 
Um, and the event only gets rerun once, because they're not going to rerun it again anytime soon, which kind of sucks, but... Mecha Ellie Chan! There you go. Two of them. And then there's also... Oh, also, to just a, to be a part of this, all you need to do is clear Orleans. Orleans? That's not how you... Orleans? New Orleans. There you go. I was like, for some reason, looking at it without the new completely threw me off on how to say it. <laughs> anyway, Halloween 2021. This is where we get Cinderella Liz, as you can see right there. Another Liz for the Halloween gambit. That was the return of her, this baby. Oh, yeah. Need a Liz in every single category as po if possible. Um, event info, event mechanics, event bonus. There we go. Of course, I clicked the wrong unit. That's Jaco de Moli. Here we go. Liz Cinderella. Literally what it's called. She's a writer. She's one quick two arts, two buster. And then her noble phantasm is a damage to one enemy. D++ rank noble phantasm. So it deals around 1,000 damage. And then she also has like a bonus for fairy tale servants. I don't know. It sounds interesting. We'll see. I'll actually take a closer look at her when it comes time to actually look at them and give you opinion there. Oh, my only really opinion here is that this dress is fantastic and this is a great motif. I love that they brought back um, Halloween. I am a big fan of Halloween, as you can tell from the I, that I do 13 Nights of Halloween on this channel. Even though I know for a fact it always tanks <laughs> in views compared to the bigger videos that I cover. I don't care. I just love Halloween that much. <laughs> that I do it regardless of anything so I'm hyped for this Liz and this is also Cinderella my favorite Halloween icon so next I know Cinderella is not a Halloween icon that's a joke just in case someone tries to give me shit next we have in November this is technically a weird free to play unit but I'm going to mention it Nobukatsu gets red returned back to the free to play servant um, list he is a limited friend point unit so you can only really pull for him during, I think, times where they say he's in it. I don't think he ever comes back. He hasn't come back yet. So this is kind of your best bet on getting Nobukatsu. Um, you have to do a bunch of fruity play summons to get him MP5. Shouldn't be too hard to get him MP1 at the very least. But yeah, it might be a little bit of a hassle, even with him being featured up and all that. Uh, what's his main gimmick? I'm gonna look at all this. It's too quick. One arts, two buster. Doesn't really matter. These skills are all just basically buff the Avenger Nobunaga. May have put into words. He his really only big function is to buff Nobunaga and then die. That's really what he does, and he does a fantastic job at it. <laughs> to be real with you, so there you go. If you're a big fan of Nobu dudes, um, you kind of need him to get the maximum out of your Nobu guys going forward and any nobunaga servant forward actually now that i think about it so very good to just kind of pick him up i don't think he's been featured again in a guda guda since then but i'm sure whenever nobu a new nobu is coming out he will be featured on the free to play banner again but for now it's your best bet guda guda close call 2021 this is the actual guda guda event in the free unit that is actually legitimately free it is not her she's a five star it's her, Mysterious Ranmaru X, a free-to-play Avenger. Uh, one quick, two arts, two buster with an NP that is arts-related that deals damage that ignores defensive buffs to all allies. So, a free-to-play Avenger, always good. It's always nice to just have options of all your kind of like free-to-playness. Uh, having a free free to play Avenger, having a free extra class, it's just nice to kind of have. At least I think it is, just in case you want to use them. There's occasionally a fight. Usually it's in a story note where you're like, this would be so much easier if I just had one of these damn units. I guess I'll have to try and see if I have a friend who can help me out with it, but a lot of the time it turns out like, no, I don't really have one for this specific class because it's actually kind of a pain in the ass to get uh, the extra dudes. This one's a little bit hot, tougher because you have to actually clear Hyun Kyo before you are actually able to participate in this event. So this is Lost Bell 5.5, and I should look back because actually I don't know what the requirements were for this one. The Yamatai. This one's just Fuyuki. So this is good to remember because you need to have cleared this if you want to participate in this event. So throughout the end, you have basically the entire year to clear Haikyo in time. Most people will because that's the best way to get to Morgan and stuff like that. To get to the Lost Belt 6 story, which everyone 
and their mom has hyped up for an entirety. This was hyped up to an insane degree. It was huge. It was big when it hit on JP. Uh, and every single unit from Lost Belt 6 has been like crazy money making gangbusters for the game. Like there's if there there was a chart somewhere and they showed basically how Fogo was doing and then Fogo basically made all its money <laughs> once the Lost Belt 6 dudes came out and they continue to print money whenever they release the banners again. So very huge sway on that part. But anyway, the final free-to-play unit of the entire year is, of course, Christmas 2021. That's right, if you're wondering, hey, when's Santa Karna? Two years from now. He doesn't come back next year. So if you're currently grinding Santa Karna, make sure to actually get him this year or else you don't get him again for another two years. Yay! Everyone loves that. So Christmas 2021, all you need to clear is Fuyuki. Thankfully, a lot of these are just Fuyuki and you're good for the free-to-play units, that is. Um... And yeah, this is the uh, Santa unit. It's Martha Santa. Who doesn't love Martha Santa? This is also another way for you to get back the Emiya costume dress, because I forget they occasionally do this as well. Um, I had honestly forgotten that Emiya's costume dress could be purchased here. Well, it would be available for purchase if you missed it out on summer. That's good that they're doing that. I completely forget about it because I usually get them on their first run, but it's still good for the people who are joining up later. I don't think all of them are available though, which is probably what they should be doing. But anyway, she's a caster, two quick, two arts, one buster, and then her noble phantasm is a C. Cooking increases party's attack by 20% for three turns, and then increases their party damage against demon, divine, undead enemies for three turns, and you get some crit stars as well. So very nice. I don't remember if any of her skills are really... Yeah, she charges NP stuff like that. She does a second skill right here. She does stuff like that. And... And yeah, that's basically everything. As all the free-to-play units coming this year, there's actually not a lot of them. When I looked at it, I was like, I was expecting a lot more. We just don't get that many. We, it's not that there's... Yeah, there's just not a lot this year. I forget. I've, so, if you're wondering how come there's not a lot, they might actually squeeze some other dudes in here. I think it'd be smart for NA to do that. The reason is... The reason things are just so, like, scattered for this one is because it's the pandemic. This is... this. This year for Japan was when full-blown pandemic stuff was going on. So it feels really weird when you compare it to everything else. Um, so I hope that we don't get this bad on NA. But you never know with some stuff. You can never tell. <sighs> but yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one, whenever it might be. Um... I'll think of something. <laughs> if you have any sp specific things you want me to talk about, because this was specifically someone saying, like, hey, can you talk about the free-to-play units? Um, go ahead. I will always talk about them. I will talk about them even more in depth when it's actually time to kind of really go crazy for them. I don't want the video to be too crazy long if I specifically gave super details on what I thought on every single one of them. So for now, I figure that's good enough just to get the basics. And you can plan ahead. So yeah, that's it for the this video, everyone. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.